Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 24th of 2020 well, it is titled Crescent Moon HDR. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our moon, but it will be an image like nothing you've ever seen before. And that's because it is not the way your eyes will be able to perceive this or any camera directly without taking multiple images of two different parts of the moon. In this case, the crescent moon, which is what was illuminated is on the lower left hand side, but that that part of which is directly illuminated by the sun is normally very bright. So when we see the crescent moon, usually we don't see the other portion of it. That part portion is in darkness and much fainter. So the other portion, the crescent portion will overwhelm it in brightness and we will just see that crescent. Now what we see here are images taken about a dozen or more images of the crescent very short images because it is so bright and another dozen or so longer images of the rest of the moon the other portion of the moon which will be much fainter and then putting those together we can get an image an interesting image of our moon here. Now the what is the dark part of the moon is actually still being illuminated. The crescent portion here is being directly illuminated by the sun, but the remainder of the moon is being indirectly illuminated. And what that is is what we sometimes call the earth shine or the da Vinci glow. And what happens is the sunlight first travels to the earth and reflects off the earth and then bounces to the moon. And that then that comes back to the earth. So it's takes it's only a small fraction of the light Again, the light strikes the earth travels to the moon and then travels back to the earth. So that is being illuminated by light coming from the earth as well. So while our eyes may never actually be able to see this exact image in the sky, we can see this indirectly by looking at it through the two images put together in our picture here today. Again, that is on the lower right hand side is the actually illuminated portion of the moon. That is the part that is receiving direct sunlight and the part illuminated by the earth shine on the upper left hand side, the much larger portion there. We can still see all the features that we associate with the moon, the lighter colored highlands and the darker maria visible in both regions. So all of that material is still there. It's just a difference in how it is actually being illuminated. And again, it's all being illuminated by sunlight, the crescent portion directly, and the remaining portion by light that has traveled from the uh, sun to the earth to the moon and back to the earth. So it is much, much fainter. So that was our picture of the day for August the 24th of 2020. It was titled Crescent Moon HDR. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be around a black hole. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.